Hi guys and welcome to Alice Coral Photography. Now in today's video I'm going to be explaining how a studio light works. In previous videos you've only seen them in use and I've never gone in, in depth about all the different components uh, about them. So in this video we're going to be explaining what the different bulbs are, all the different functions on the back here, how to trigger our studio lights. So first of all when you have a studio light you may notice that there's actually two bulbs inside. There's actually a flash bulb and a modeling bulb. Now, if you look here at this center one, this is the modeling bulb, which you can see here is what illuminates our light. And when we've got a model in place, as you, you can see with me here, it's illuminating me. So if we fired that, that's where the light will be hitting on me. And this donut shaped bulb is actually our flash bulb. So that's the one that, that will actually illuminate our image when we fire the studio light. Now, the reason we've got one of these uh, protective glass uh, domes is when we've got these modeling lights on, they can get very, very hot. So a little health and, health and safety warning using studio lights is these modeling bulbs can get very, very hot. So uh, just, ju just be careful when actually um, you using them to avoid burns. Here we have a softbox which is attached to our other uh, studio light and how these are fitted is they have a twist mechanism lock on you can twist that and then these will come off now there's actually two different types of uh, adapters you can use with these uh, studio lights so this is the the s shape and we've also got the bowens one if i go out of camera now right uh, to here so these are pins and these are a a curve so whatever studio lights you buy just make sure you you have the right fitting for your uh, studio light so if I connect this back on, it should be quite nice and easy uh, to do. Uh, just make sure that when you do uh, twist them on, make sure you lock it so that it doesn't come off when you are doing your photo shoot. Now, of course, when we turn uh, our studio light on, with the, there'll be a power button on the back, you will see our modeling light uh, come on. Uh, you, you you can have it on rapid uh, fo fo photos. You can also control uh, how bright you want the modeling bulb, bulb to be, or you can have it at the same proportion of the power of the flash, or you can have it off if you, for whatever reason, don't actually want uh, it on. So this is a 500 watt L Elenchrom light. So everyone's got this misconception of when you turn down the power of uh, the light you're actually turning down the power of the flash you're not you're actually changing the duration of the flash so if i put this on full that's very really bright and then if we turn it right down and we fire it again it's a lot lot quicker okay so that's a misconception it is that you are actually lowering the power of uh, the light. You are actually lowering the the duration, so the time that in which it does fire. Now, of course, we got triggers. Uh, I've got a few in my pocket. So what you will often find is you will end up with a trigger like uh, this, with a uh, trigger from your camera, which will sit on, sit on top of your horseshoe here, and then this one will then sit inside your studio light here. So it have like a mini jack lead that goes into there and then when we click our button it will fire the light uh, for us so i'm going to get a model in in place now and then i'm going to show you our studio lights in use with a model and then how this will actually fire our light okay so i'd like to welcome our model k who is now going to be demoing the rest of this uh, video with me so we've got our softbox and studio light hitting k at a 40 45 degree and kind of giving a bit of a rembrandt look now you will see that k's got a slightly orange glow to to her now this isn't the ambience of the room this is the modeling bulb of uh, the light hitting k and showing us roughly where if we trigger the flash the lights go into fall now with flash, you don't need to be exposing for any ambient light. You can actually set the camera settings to whatever you like them to be. So I normally go with two hundredths of, of a second because with a remote trigger, it's normally the the highest it, it can go without high speed sync. F8 because it gives enough depth of field with our model and 100 ISO uh, to give the best quality photo. And what we were doing with those settings is we will expose our light for those settings. I'm just gonna do a quick little test shot and then if I need to adjust it, I can look at the back of the camera or, or if I am tethering, look at the back uh, of the computer screen and adjust from there. So we're just gonna do a couple of photos. So as, as you, you can see from the model involved, we can see where the, for the fall of light is and then as the flash uh, triggers you will actually see the modeling bulb will go off very very quickly and then that will, will give us that flash fire. Now what's actually 
firing the deflash gun is when we take the photo and this is sat on, on top of our hot shoe it sends a remote signal to our receiver here and then fires off now what you may notice is some of these will have certain channels and you've always got to make sure that the channel on the back of here matches the same channel on the back of the receiver okay so if it doesn't fire for whatever reason it's probably that or you need to change the battery in one of these so if we pop this uh, back on and and we can then take uh, some more photos if we go above two hundredths of a second with this so let's say we go four four to hundreds the shutter is going to go too fast for our remote trigger to fire the light so what you will end up getting is this black line appearing in our photos and i'm just uh, checking out to get it yeah so at 400 you can hardly see k in there so when you are using flash you must make uh, sure you are using a shutter speed that syncs with our with our uh, trigger and our receiver for the studio line so a common question i do get asked is well if i start using multiple studio lights do i need a uh, receiver on on each studio light and you actually don't because each studio light will have its own optical receiver which basically means when the light with our trigger fires the the, the flash will actually trigger our light meter here and then that will then trigger those those lights off too so what i'm going to do now is set up two lights and you can actually see this i've just added our second light and this is just going to fill in the slight shadow on K's right side, so our camera left. Um, and what will happen is when this light now fires, it will trigger the other light because it will de detect the burst of light firing. So if I take a couple of shots now, you'll see them both firing at the same time. Now, because with the second light's only filling in the shadow it's not on the same power as this this is another misconception is like all studio lights must be on the 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 same same power you can have them on various powers for whatever reason you are wanting them to be uh shot so okay if i could just grab uh, a couple, couple of photos now that'd be amazing all right and another thing you you will find which is very different to doing outdoor portraits and things like that is you don't have to keep adjusting your camera settings once these lights are are, are fit um set up that you're getting the correct ex exposure you don't need to change anything on the camera okay so we just do a couple more when using studio lights as well uh, a common thing is people worry about they're going to get the ambient light appearing in the photos well with these camera settings normally it will black out the ambient light in the room now the only reason we got uh, uh, and a light on now is because we are filming this uh, uh, video but when you are doing studio lights normally studio owners will actually turn off all of the other other lights which actually helps give a, a better indication of where the light is falling using these modeling bolts but it's not essential but you will notice a, a few photographers uh, doing that now i hope you have found this video help, helpful uh, thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing and i'll see you all in the next video thank you